Okay, so unboxing of my new watch, which just arrived a few minutes ago. This is my new Zodiac. And this is the first time I'm actually going to see the watch. Get it out of this box. Uh, see, that's that'll be the, the warranty and the manual. I won't bother looking through that yet. So, uh, yeah, the first time I'm actually going to be seeing this watch, I haven't seen it in person at all. I ordered it online. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, you know one of the dealers that I I regularly buy from, so I, I trusted them. And also, if I don't like it, I can always send it back. Uh, but it was um, just a great a great price, uh, so I couldn't say no. And I'll go into more detail about it. So this is the Zodiac Sea Wolf 58, uh, I believe it's called. And I got the black dial. And so this is the first time I'm actually seeing it and holding it in my hand. Oh, I've not, just noticed that the, the um, let's take this off. Uh, the logo is actually, it's not printed. It's, I think it's um, applied. That keeps getting in the way. Yeah, so well, I do like, let me just put that down. I do like the box. You know, it's like this little hinge thing they've got there. That's quite nice. Let's take a closer look at the watch itself. Let's get the plastic bits coverings off. Now it comes on the Jubilee bracelet. I'm not sure if it actually comes on uh, a strap or anything else. I think they all come on the Jubilee bracelet. So it's just, it's not as rattly as most Jubilee bracelets are. So I'm not sure if I'll keep it on the bracelet or or not. Uh, the back, the, uh, the buckle has this special stretchy system and we get it closer you can just see it's uh so you once you set your uh your size for your your bracelet then you can have that to sort of have micro adjustment so you set it a little bit smaller than what it is so that's the the back case the reference number of the watch and there is the retail price of £1,099, but I didn't pay that. The reason I bought this watch, now I've been looking at this watch for some time, and the, the other colours, the other colours are a bit wild and wacky, I didn't like them. The blue was going to be too much similar to my docs, but I'll go into more detail about uh, uh, about the watch once uh, I do the full review. Now I paid, um, I'm, I'll have to have a look exactly the price, but I got a 47, 48% discount off this watch. And that's the main reason I bought it. Now, originally I, I was looking at the watch. I, I wasn't sure about the the white edges on the dial. And I'm still not too sure about it. So I'll, as I wear it, I'll, I'll, I'll see how I feel about it. Uh, but at that price, I just couldn't say no. I, I've been looking at this watch for possibly, I think it's been about two months that so they were discounting it. Uh, they went from, uh, 15% off, 20% off, and then they had the uh, Black Friday sale, 30%, then the New Year sale, which went to 40%. So they just kept discounting, discounting. So I'd, I'm not quite sure if they just wanted to get rid of this watch and nobody was buying it, but that's all good for me. And that just tipped me over the edge of buying it. But I'll go into more detail about that uh, in the full review. But so far, what do I think? So I've paid under £600. What do I think of this watch for a £600 watch or a a sub 600 pound watch now it's got a sapphire crystal the bezel is acrylic i believe this is acrylic but uh let's have a look oh that's not a nice sound at all now if you've watched my doxa video i complained about the bezel sounding and feeling a bit plasticky and this has the same sound and feel to it Oh, uh, so, okay, so I'm going to wear it uh, and see what I think of it. And if I don't like it, I can always send it back. That's the good thing about it. But, or I can sell it because at that price, I'll probably make money on it if I, uh, if I sell it instead of sending it back. But okay, so I will wear it for the next few weeks and then come back with a full review of the watch. So far, I'm like, okay, I'm not impressed and I'm not sort of... Um, disheartened about it. Uh, I'm sort of in the middle about it. So let's see how I get on with the next few weeks.